Hi, this is Joshua Stern with the Stern team at Keller Williams, and my goal is to keep you educated about all things real estate so you have the ability to make great decisions when it comes to your own home selling, buying, and investing goals. So today's topic is seven signs you're ready to sell your house, and it comes to us directly from Dave Ramsey. So before we get started, I wanted to point out two features on the site. First, off to the right, you're gonna notice that there's a great tool where you can get a free instant home evaluation for your property. And then second is our buyer site, and this link is going to bring you to real-time listing of all homes from all brokerages covering the entire Wasatch Front. Now, back to our topic. Am I ready to sell my house? If you've been asking yourself this question lately, we've got some good news. It's a great market for sellers. Limited inventory continues to drive home prices up, and the latest data from the National Association of Realtors shows that nearly half of recently sold properties were on the market for less than a month. Wow, that's, that's crazy. So let's take your personal situation into account, and that's where expert advice from Dave Ramsey comes in handy. You've got equity on your side. That's the first thing you have to realize. So during the housing meltdown from 2008, to 2010, millions of homeowners found themselves with negative equity, which meant that they owed more than their homes were worth. However, for the last several years, home values have been on the rise by leaps and bounds in many cases, and that means most homeowners are building equity. Figuring out how to grab, uh, how, how much equity rather, that you have is pretty easy. So here's what I want you to do. Just grab your latest mortgage statement and find out your current mortgage balance. Next, you're gonna need to know your home's value. And while it's tempting to use figures from online valuation sites to determine how much your home is worth, they're not super accurate. So ask an experienced real estate agent to run a free comparative market analysis, which they call CMAs, for the best estimate. Once you have the two numbers in hand, simply subtract your current mortgage balance, balance rather, from your home's estimated uh, market value, and the difference is gonna give you a good idea of how much equity you're gonna have to work with. So number two, this is Dave Ramsey stuff, guys. You're out of debt with cash in the bank. If you didn't have all your financial ducks in a row your first time around buying a home, you probably have learned a few things the hard way, like the fact that Murphy can smell broke from miles away. If it can go wrong, it's going to go wrong. All right, be a money smart home buyer this next go around. Start by taking a hard look at your finances. If you've paid off all of your non-mortgage debt and have three to six months of expenses in your emergency fund, well that's a good sign that you're financially mature enough to purchase a home again. So number three, you can afford to buy a home that fits your lifestyle better. That's the whole point, right? So another factor to consider is how well your home meets your everyday needs. Perhaps you could use another bedroom or even two uh, to accommodate your growing family. Or maybe your kids have all moved out and you're ready to downsize. Empty nesters can really benefit from selling while rates are low. It's freeing to sell a large home, pay cash for a smaller one, and invest the rest in your retirement. Number four, you can cash flow the move. Don't get so carried away by the excitement of your next home that you forget to account for the cost of leaving your current one. Hiring professional movers, save up cash to cover the cost of packing and hauling away your stuff, okay? You should also invest a little to get your current place ready for a prime market. Focus your home improvement dollars on things like paint, curb appeal, uh, definitely don't leave out the kitchen and bathroom upgrades. A little bit of fresh paint, some elbow grease can go a long way into making a great first impression and it'll help you get your home sold faster and for more money. If you want a bonus tip that doesn't cost a dime, clear out the clutter. Neat closets, tidy shelves make your home look larger. And then number five, you are emotionally ready to sell. If the numbers show you're financially ready to make a move, great. But don't forget, selling your home is an emotional issue too. Before you plant the for sale sign in the front yard, just take one minute to answer just a few more questions. Here they are. Are you ready to put in the work to get your house ready for house hunters? Are you committed to keeping it ready to show for weeks or months? Are you ready to hear the reasons why potential buyers believe your home is not perfect? Are you ready for honest and sometimes hardball negotiation over what buyers are willing to pay for your home? Are you really ready to move out and leave the place where your family has made memories? Now don't get us wrong, I'm not trying to talk you out of selling your home. I just wanna make sure to be completely ready 
when you decide to move on to the next stage uh, of yours or your family's life. So a qualified real estate agent is going to give you a very clear picture on what it's like to sell your house and also help you discern if now is the right time for you, both financially and emotionally. And number six, you understand the market. Okay, maybe just a little bit. No one can predict how the housing market will perform, but the National Association of Realtors expects modest growth for existing homes in 2018. And despite the possibility of rising mortgage rates, home sales in 2018 are forecasted to grow around 7%, with the median price increasing around 5%. And so far along the Wasatch Front, we've actually seen 9% year-over-year increases in price. With rents up, and mortgage rates down, many renters are actually looking to buy their first home. There's just one problem. They're having trouble finding homes for sale within their price range. According to Trulia, there are 20% fewer entry-level homes on the market today than there were this time last year. Um, so a lot of investors snatched up the bargains on entry-level homes when the market was down and they turned them all into rental properties. If you took economics in school, you learned all about supply and demand. When supply is down, demand is up, prices tend to go upward as well. That means your home might be worth more than you think. Consider the numbers. Wasatch Front homes are on the market on average for 41 days. That's 10% less than 2017. Recent listings of starter homes are 8% less than searches, which means there are more house hunters than there are homes available for sale. In other words, the market is hot for just about any home seller, but especially if you've got a starter home to sell. And number seven, you have a real estate agent. See, the reasons already mentioned are essential to consider before selling your home this year. But remember, your real estate market is unique and so is your financial situation. So consult an experienced real estate agent to find out how the 2018 housing market is shaping up in your area so you can decide if sales makes financial sense for you and your family. Partner with a pro you can trust to provide honest advice so you can do what's best for you and your budget. A good agent puts service before sales, but no knows how to get things done when it comes time to sell. Selling your home is a super big deal. A real estate agent does more than just schedule showings of your home. They bring experience and confidence to the table when they handle their many job duties, which includes giving you advice about updates, repairs, and staging that's gonna make your home more attractive. Helping you set a price for your home, marketing your home so it receives as much exposure to potential buyers as possible. Scheduling showings with potential buyers, holding open houses, advising you as you negotiate offers, handling all of the required paperwork. Don't trust an amateur with one of your biggest financial investments. Work with a high octane agent who knows your market. An experienced real estate agent can help you navigate and search for your next home too. Be sure to have some backup options ready in case your home sells quickly and you can't find a new place that you love right away. You don't want to rush into a home you can't afford or you don't really like just because it's available. If you, a friend, a coworker, or family member has a question about all things housing, please feel free to give us a call, send us an email, and if there's a topic that you'd like to cover, please let me know. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video blog.